and como estas? How are you guys today? So I've been in here doing doing some stuff, doing mostly this kind of stuff. Got, I mean, lots of junk-ish stuff. I mean, I got a few good things, some power four, feather falling, protections, infinity. So, that's pretty cool. This stuff takes a lot longer than, hmm, not too bad. And one would hope, especially when we're not at really top efficiency. Oh wait, this one goes up here. Great, okay, let me, let me show you around. So, finished putting all the books up and stuff. It's looking pretty nice in here. So... We've got a nice seating area over here. It's great. So then you go around here. And we got some leaves, some directional slabs to sort of lead your eye into various directions. Like this kind of curves you around this way, and yes, it looks great, I think. But yeah, we're done with this for now. And let us, let us zoo some dinosaurs up. But I'm going to grab some levels first so we can merge those two picks. Alright. See you when I see you. Also, we built a track. So, makes it a lot easier to go back and forth. Ooh. Kind of, kind of pushes you there at the end. So here's the Triceratops pin, guys. We are just starting work on it. And... Yeah, I mean, we already did design stuff last time. But I'm kind of thinking, so, since the main path will be right here, this will have glass in it, but in the back we don't really need glass or anything because no one will be looking in. And they have that a lot in zoos and whatnot where they have areas to observe, but then just closed off areas where you really can't you know, get to, or really want to get to, because there's nothing to see. But I'm thinking of making it fairly big, because especially if we're going to have Michael, Sarah, and Spike all in here. I guess I should call it the Triceratops and Stegosaurus pen, because it will not just be good old Triceratops, but... See, so yeah, I'm probably, this is probably going to be like three or four high of just the wood. I might try some sort of design where it's like oak, maybe, I don't know, maybe spruce wood in the middle and oak on the bottom, or maybe stone bricks in the middle. Not quite sure yet. Getting kind of slim on the oak wood, but thankfully you can always grow wood, so... That's pretty handy, but uh, yeah, I think I'm just... Let me power through this. Oh, let me show you this here first real quick. So I was messing around in here. Here's what this looks like with glass. I think I'm still even further gonna kind of theme this up a bit so it's not just like a random cave that it's actually like... There's a lot more wood everywhere. Maybe we'll put like, you know, item frames on the wall. I still wish the... The stone tablets, I really wish the stone tablets were functioning, because messing around with those would really help out theming. Man, what you doing, Ankle? He's doing the twist. <laughs> do, 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 do the twist. But, uh, yeah, yeah, the stone tablets, because they're in the game, and they are pretty cool, it's just, they really wig out, and... It would really help when you're trying to theme things. Yeah, let's go in front of that. But yeah, okay. I will see you in a brief moment. Alright, and... Pwah! So, this is kind of what we're looking at here. I think it is time to bring in the other guys. I th uh, yeah, Michael and Spike over here. One thing I've been wondering about, here, we can actually test it with this. Alright, there's zero... Okay, there's a hundred in here. If I break this, do I get that wheat back, or is it lost forever? 
Hmm. It, I lose it forever. Okay, that's actually really good to know. So let's break that as well. That's kind of a bummer, but I mean, I guess it makes sense because it's just kind of transforming it into data. Um, doesn't a stick work on you, Spike? I thought that worked. Let's try Michael. Oh. Whoa. There we go. Follow. And I think he'll be able just to teleport through the walls. Like, I don't think I have to make any sort of opening. Hopefully not. Hopefully he doesn't suffocate. That would be a bummer. And the verdict. Ah. Great. So we have Michael in here. Wonderful. Oh, you guys are... Oh. Well, you're adorable still. <laughs> Look at him. Adorable. Okay, so then... I'm pretty sure Stegosaurus were also controlled by sticks. If I am wrong, I guess we'll find out. Uh, I don't want to push him into lava. Hmm. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright. Come on, spiketh. Let us goeth to the penneth. <laughs> oh yeah, this is working out great. I think the next step after this... Alright, free move. I really like... Oh! He might have came from one of the... <laughs> There's just eggs everywhere and I just kind of throw them when I find them, so... That could have been that could be where the baby came from, but I like the dodos everywhere. I don't know if this is a thing in all zoos, but it's definitely true in any like. It's true at the same. Oh, are you still following me, bro? Come on, get off, get off of that. Where did he go? You guys are too big. Can't see. No, he's not. He just decided to. I don't what. <laughs> Don't jump on top of the thing. Follow. Come on, follow me this way. I didn't... I don't know what happened there. i would never seen these guys jump or show any sort of physical activity in my life. Alright, hopefully that's him. Don't follow me. And he's still following me. What the heck? I don't understand this. Okay, follow. Yes. Alright. Oh gosh, now you're dying. No! Too many things! He's gonna die! Stop it! Hurry, come this way. Oh my... Oh, he's still... Stop it. Okay. Are we all good? Oh my gosh. <sighs> terrifying. Okay, you're on free move for sure. Let's click through these a couple more times. You're definitely on free move. I ain't got no food for you unless you eat carrots. Do you eat carrots? I don't think you do. Oh, you do. Great. Here's some carrots. Oh, you're full. Wonderful. Okay. Now are you following me? No. So if I go over here, you're not gonna... Okay, good. Oh, I tell you what. Dinosaurs. I forget what I was even talking about. Was it about this? Um, oh, I was talking about the dodos. Ugh. Um, yeah, it's definitely true at the St. Louis Zoo and also at... There's another... Where am I? There we go. There's another place in the St. Louis called Grant's Farm that has, like, petting zoos and whatnot. But for some reason, there's always peacocks just walking around. They're not in any sort of cages or anything. They're just kind of hanging out on the walk pass and whatnot. And I've always wondered why. Like, just, can we trust peacocks enough to not have them caged up so they won't run away or attack people? I guess. But yeah, that's sort of what the dodos have been <laughs> reminding me of. Just kind of walking about. Just being peacocks. Okay, so now what I need, we need a couple trees in here, and then I want to put that somewhere better, but the problem is what we just discovered at that experiment over there is that we lose all of the nutrition inside. And this one has like 600 in it, 
which I guess is low. I have no context. So the thousand is full, so that it's not that low, but maybe it's actually glitched. I don't know. And do these have to be at like head height for them? Like, do I always need to put it on a one high stand? These are the oh, these are the questions I ask. Oh, I guess it only wants. Oh, that is the front. Right, I need to put stuff in it for it to... Okay. I think, yeah, next step is trees, and then... Grass, like, bone meal the grass. And I need to get a lot of wheat, because... I don't have much. I wanna... Let me see how hard making an auto wheat farm will be and if we can do it this episode or we'll have to hold it to the next but I think that'll be really helpful because I've been going back and forth and that little guy it's not really helping us out but I think this is a good start I'm not too sure about how it looks from up top but I think once we put more stuff in it we'll be it'll will definitely be cooler oh gosh that was about it well Ha! Feather falling boots. Alright, let's quickly go look at them through the glass over here. I think that should be pretty cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, this was a good idea. And peacock egg. Bummer. Alright, let me go get some stuff prepared. So these trees have been grown in nice. This is exciting. Pretty much just, yeah, doing the same thing I was doing in the backyard, just planting trees more or less just to get wood but if big ones grew just leave them and replace the small ones in places where I would want trees so yeah that's muy bueno muy bueno alright so let's jump on in here I got a couple varieties of saplings or at least I thought I did here we go so yeah let's just Jungle tree, perfect. Let's get some meal bone. Oh, beautiful. Alright, probably birch right here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Sometime today, alright, great. And then, a number of spruce trees. Oi, I need to figure out some settings, because I'm getting a weird lag when I record. Perfect oak tree over here just to give it sort of that forest feel okay Michael's in the way that there we go come on oh no I think Michael's in the way dang it Michael come on I'm trying to grow some trees for you guys all right Oy. my goodness yeah I really need to figure something out okay We'll plant those, get some bone meal. I found out that uh, the wheat farm design that I'm looking at really isn't that complicated, so I think I might set that up. But let me grow some trees in here. Hmm. Might We might have to get rid of the mushroom. I don't know. We'll leave it all sort of there for now. I need more bone meal. But let me just see if I can figure out these lag problems. I think I figured that out, hopefully. So, all right, okay. Where, where where are we? We are behind the right wing. I decided if we're building a wheat farm, it's probably best to put that in what will be our future kitchen. So that's what we're gonna be doing here. And it's a pretty cool design. It is a etho design, so I will put that link in the description, but we start off with, yes, a uh, clock there. This has to be at two. I think that's an important detail. There we go. Great. Put that right on top, and then right there. Yeah. Okay, so then from that... Let's see here. 
here and then here. So power is going through there. And the idea is uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't have a pressure plate. Just throw that there. So see how when you're on the pressure plate, the clock's going, and when you're on this, powers that, so it stops the clock. We're going to put that to a whole bunch of dispensers with bone meal in them, and then they're going to be dispensing on and off on an auto sort of piston going up and down. So I should actually have, yeah, let's put this, wait, let's get off that first. Okay, so see that? All right, that's sort of the idea. That'll have tilled this on it. Great. And then, yeah, there'll be dispensers on either side. So, now we're bringing power over to, did I run out of, it looks like I ran out of, that's all right, we can use dirt. Kidoki, and then let's see here. Okay, yeah. I need one more torch as well to go on the other side of this. All right, I think we're getting there. Right here. Oops. That shouldn't matter too much, but oh well. Okay, and then here and here. All right, and then I think dispenser, dispenser, oh dang it, wrong direction. Okay, that one's fine. All right, and you can hear the clicks of the dispensers. I think we're in business here. If I till this, all right, and I think we need a water block right here as well, which I'll get that. But hey, uh, come on, man. Everybody good? Okay. So let's just take some bone meal real quick. Seven in there. Ten in there. In there. Let's go get some seeds. So the idea here is then. Oh. Okay, yeah, we're good. We just need the water. Aha, see? So if we look at our wheat that we're getting then. Oh, bad cycle. Ready? There we go. Oh, we had it for a second. Oh, do we run out of... Yeah, we ran out of... Okay, but you get the idea. So, let me finish that up and pretty it up a bit. Get the water block back here and stop jumping on that. Also, for the flooring in here, I'm thinking... Volcanic bricks and... Chisel. Ooh, that's going to look really cool. It's going to look real nice in here. So that's what I'm thinking for the floor pattern. I'm not sure how. I don't really want to go checkered, because that's that's a bit obnoxious. But think of something cool. Oh, yeah, we got it. But yeah, this should be pretty good. Let oh, well, yeah, we'll call it an episode. There, we're right there on the time. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Let's uh. Let's finish off the episode Bone Meal in the Ground over here. Oh, no Bone Meal. JK. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Press buttons if you want. Um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Wait for it. Shot of the dinosaurs. <laughs> there. See you guys later. Mm -hmm.